Hello legends, today we're gonna start solving some ACT questions and just like get ready to our exam, good? So let's just start with the first one and the first one says how many grams of NaCl? Once they're asking about the grams, it means the mass, okay, for the guys who don't know. We're gonna find the grams of NaCl that are needed to prepare this amount, I mean in volume, of NaCl and just notice that this is M which is um, the concentration, the molarity. So, since they're asking me about the grams, I have to find the moles first and then just like do some issues. We just remember the rule says that the concentration is equal to moles of solute over the volume of your solution. And uh, since the concentration is given to me in form of 0.5 M, then it's ready. We put it here and the moles are not known so far. And let's go to volume. The volume here is given to me in... Uh, milliliters and that's why you have to change them to liters so if we want to change the milliliters to liters you have to divide over 1000 and that's why we divide the 250 over 1000 in order to have 0 0.25 and then we put 0 0.25 liters the answer is equal to i mean like the moles are equal to 0 0.125 mole all right so let's go the question is asking me to calculate the grams of NaCl, and that's why here we have the moles of NaCl. Okay, just remember the rule of moles are equal to mass over the molar mass of your solution. Okay, so the mass here is unknown to me. Okay, now let's go. Um, the moles are equal to 0 0.125 equals to the mass, which is unknown to me, over the molar mass. How can I calculate the molar mass of NaCl? All right, let's go to the periodic table. NaCl, it means that we have 23 for Na and 35.5 for Cl and equals to 58.5. And then if you just make a cross multiplication at this point, all right, the mass is equal to 58.5. Okay, it's the mass is equal to 7.313 grams of NaCl. Okay, uh, let's go to the second question. And as we can see, the second question says at STP, which means standard temperature and pressure, what volume will 24 gram of methane gas occupy. So the first thing here, once the first thing that hits your mind, you should really remember the relationship of STP. And the relationship says each one mole of any gas under standard temperature and pressure, it occupies a volume of 22.4 liters. So at this point, you just look at the information. The volume is, um, is needed. Okay, and I need to calculate the moles. So how can I calculate the moles of methane? We just remember that the moles are equal to mass over the molar mass. Okay, the mass is given to me, which is a 24, and the molar mass of CH4 is given as 12 for carbon, and you have four hydrogens, time 1008, and then you divide them over each other. Then the moles are equal to 1.497. Okay, so let's go again to the relationship. Now we have the moles that are given to us and just will like put them here on this ratio. 1.497. And we put X here because we don't know the volume. But in your mind, guys, if you have this relationship, as we can see, the numbers that are in front of each other like this, you have to multiply them with each other and then divide them on the second one here, which is one. Uh, in this case, we can say X equals to 1.497 times 22.4. And for sure, you divide them over one because, yeah. So at this point here, we multiply the answer. And then the answer is equal to 33.53 liters of this gas. Let's start with this equation. What is the approximate mass that contains this number of atoms of nitrogen? Okay, so the first step here, since we're given the number, like um, it looks like Avogadro's number, or let's say they're related to the number of, uh, of atoms, the first step is 
to change these number of atoms into moles. And we have to remember something. There is a rule that says each one mole of any matter contains 6.02 times 10 to the power 23 particles or atoms or molecules. So, since the number of particles are given to us like 3 times 10 to the power 23, then how many moles we have? We have 0 0.498 moles. Okay. But at this point... We have this number of moles and the question is how what is the gram what is the mass or let's say the grams and we just remember a rule says the moles are equal to mass over the molar mass okay since you're given the molar mass for nitrogen which is 14 and the number of moles are given to you which are 0 0.498 and here we have x, then you have to say 0 0.498 times 14, and then the grams of nitrogen is equal to 6.972 grams.